Wow, would you take a gander at this kind of bleak, gnarly, funky looking, kind of spooky forest we've got here. This right here is a second growth forest stand and ones like this are frighteningly common all throughout Turtle Island as a result of large scale commercial logging operations. And as you can see, there's really not much living here except for these tightly packed even aged trees that all started growing about the same time. And in the state that they're in, it's clear that whatever life they're living really isn't a great one. While certain critters have been shown to enjoy some of the open space created in the early years following a clear cut, once these artificially disturbed areas mature past a decade or two, the situation is quite the opposite. With the removal of large old trees and the complexity of vegetation present in an old growth forest, there is an immediate lack of habitat for most of the life that would usually live here, as well as generally drier conditions without roots or mosses to slow the rate of water flow, and a tight canopy that lets very little light come through, which means there's virtually no berry-bearing shrubs or vegetation growing here. This forest is essentially a desert, yet just over here in that same cut block that was cut down at the exact same time with all these trees growing at the same time, uh, we came in here about a decade ago and did some restoration work, and look at the difference here. It is really quite remarkable. Check it out. You can even see some of those big stumps of the cedars that were cut down when this stand was initially harvested. So what we've done here is we've thinned a lot of these trees here. So thinning these trees allows for more space for bigger animals to move about or fly about through the canopy here and for light to come in so that imp important food sources like huckleberries for birds or deciduous saplings for deer or elk can grow along with mosses and a variety of shrubs and all these down logs here that retain moisture and create habitat for a host of smaller critters. By thinning out some of these trees higher up we've created standing dead trees or snags which are commonly referred to as wildlife trees because of the variety of critters that will use them for both home and as a grocery store as it decays. First you know it's bacteria and fungi that soften the wood then insects that eat that followed by birds and small mammals that eat the insects and then even den in the wood and raise their families. So by thinning these forests we've created an ecosystem that's closer to serving the ecological function of the one that existed here before which helps them to heal ultimately creating healthier landscapes for us all.